My journey to Black Belt began with my son, Gavin. When he was three, he was a very shy, introverted kid. A friend of ours suggested action karate and he began taking classes. In June, they offer as part of a Father's Day promotion uh, that the dads take class for free. So I gave it a shot. Um, I wanted to show Gavin that it was important to me as well and kind of to practice what I preach, so to speak. Karate has like been my life for a long time now and I've like fallen in love with it. And I think going for my black belt is just like a way to advance that and like look, like advance my training in a way. Well, for me, it was pretty easy. I got involved with my kids. And uh, after a few months of uh, Mr. Brenner and Mr. McQuaid saying, hey, when are you going to join us on that? I finally went out there and, and got involved. Yeah. Achieving something so great in something so athletic um, would mean the world to me. So the thought of that made me want to work hard to achieve it. And like getting like that flyer when I was a kid, like younger, and um, and like actually like learning or like going into the building and feeling comfortable. I took karate as a kid actually. Um, I did it for like three years. I was taking Tung Soo Do and uh, my school actually closed down. So I never got to get a black belt when I was ki a kid. So like I felt kind of robbed of it. I uh, started losing a little weight. I uh, really got in a good rhythm of exercise and, um, and it was a lot more fun than a gym. Um, you know, I started uh, getting in shape. I lost a little bit of weight, you know, I, I just felt better. And uh, so I kind of just stuck with it. We filled out our black belt applications in February, um, and our first black belt class was scheduled for March 27th. Indeed, uh, Sarah, as we have been expecting. New Jersey's governor says all non-essential businesses in New Jersey will be asked to close. Quitting was never an option. Uh, I never thought, should we even bother? Are we going to have a test? Uh, they thought immediately was, how are we going to prepare for this test during this quarantine? I mean, it has been very difficult. I mean, learning from, like, I, I also do field hockey. So, like, learning field hockey and karate, like, online, sometimes it will, like, freeze up and stuff like that. So, like, it, it has been very hard doing it on Zoom. I think it's added an extra challenge or layer to uh, preparing for the test. But at the same time, I think the way that karate has affected quarantine life is hugely beneficial uh, in structure and in uh, staying active. During quarantine, it's actually giving me something to look forward to. And it's like making me happy to get to see my students and like my fellow instructors in order to like, like teach and just help the students out as best as I can. Just, just the motivational aspect of it. Um, but then on the plus side, you know, if uh, I didn't have this black belt thing, you know, I'd be sitting around most nights not doing anything, you know, so uh, this gives me at least something to think about. Um, because of our training, the ability, I think, to gain a better focus, to look more toward the end goal, those skills were taught in class the past few years. So now we're applying them in our own training. So all of this, I guess, is to say thank you. Thank you, Action Karate. Thank you, Mr. Brenner, Mr. McQuaid. So thank you for instilling that value of martial arts. Thank you for being a role model for my son, Gavin, and my daughter, Dylan. And thank you for helping to put this crazy time into a healthy perspective.